So, big news, the production date of the M2 Max and M2 Pro for the new 14-inch MacBook Pro has been revealed in a new report. With this date, we can estimate when the new 14-inch MacBook Pros are coming out. So with this, I'm going to give the latest of everything we know so far, including the 14-inch MacBook Pro release date and price, with a spec summary as well. So every MacBook now has an Apple Silicon chipset inside it, and the last MacBooks to get this were the brand new 14 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with that M1 Pro and M1 Max chipset inside. Now already a lot of us are wondering what will the next generation Mac Pro give us in the likes of 2022 or 2023. Well in this video I'm going to cover over everything we know so far for the brand new higher spec MacBook Pros that Apple will release in the future. So let's get started with the main details of the brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro. Well, we've now had the introduction of the M2 chipset and now that's inside the brand new MacBook Pro M2 and also that brand new design MacBook Air with an M2 chipset. However, in this video, I'm going to cover over everything we know so far for the brand new higher spec MacBook Pros that Apple will release in the future. So if you watch some of my videos already, you will know I'm going to give you the latest details on specific reports of info that we've been told, then the details of the planned release date, then the summary of the models that are going to be released with all the features that we have learnt in previous leaks as well. After, I'm going to reveal my wish list for the next generation MacBook Pro. Also, put in the comments below of what features you would love to see in the MacBook Pros and maybe in my next video I will feature your comment and discuss my thoughts around it. So, let's get started with this report of when production of the M2 Pro and M2 Max is starting. So according to DigiTimes, they have claimed that TSMC, the production company behind Apple's chipset, is starting the production of the M2 Pro and the M2 Max, where it will be based on a 3 nanometer die at the end of this year. With this in mind, it is very possible that the M2 Pro and the M2 Max chipsets could be ready for spring 2023 for Apple to announce the new chipsets in the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. However, what power boost do we expect to see in the M2 Pro and the M2 Max? The M1 Pro and M1 Max has given us a true generation leap in performance, what we had in the likes of, say, a 16 inch MacBook Pro with an Intel chipset. The CPU performance in both the 10 core M1 Pro and M1 Max is over double of the highest spec Intel i9 chipset in the 16 inch MacBook Pro that came out in 2019. But we're all wondering now, what will the new M2 Pro and the M2 Max give us? Well, we've recently had a report talking about the M2 Max, and it looks like some additional cores are going to be going inside it. So from the CPU side of things, we're going to be getting 12 cores instead of 8. Now, what this basically means is that it's going to be an additional two cores for the M2 Max. We don't actually know if we're going to get two additional cores for the M2 Pro. But most likely what we'll be getting is two efficiency cores and we'll also have a total of 10 performance cores inside the brand new M2 Max. And that will give us at least a 20% increase in performance just with these two additional cores. However, like every other chipset manufacturer out there, they improve on their actual architecture and probably most likely with these two additional cores and with Apple tinkering around with the actual chipset as well we're probably more likely to going to get a boost between 30 to 45 percent more power than what we have in the current M1 Max. We've also been told for GPU cores in the M2 Max that we're probably going to be getting a few more so this will probably be four to six more cores again but most likely with these extra cores and again Apple tinkering it around we're probably going to be getting 30 to 45 percent more graphical power than we currently have when you think about this this also makes sense as the normal m2 chipset was near a 20 percent increase in cpu power and around about a 30 percent increase in gpu power like what we just saw at wwdc this is super exciting news to hear as already mentioned the m1 pro and the m1 max and basically they are the top notebook chipset out there and yet Apple are still aiming to push them even further. I also want to comment at this stage into the video that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof they will come true with the new MacBooks. 
Like I have said before in many of my other videos, I can only present to you what has been told and shown. However, if you are watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the new MacBooks anyway. So the next question is on the release date. So with Apple's journey complete with equipping every Mac with an Apple Silicon M1 variant chipset inside, apart from the Mac Pro, but that's not likely to get an M1 variant chipset, but we have now started the M2 journey. It is very likely that these chipsets and devices will get replaced in the order or similar order to what they came out in. So I'm talking about an initial M2 first chipset and all the devices to be updated with that, then the M2 Pro and the M2 Max, and then the M2 Ultra. So with this in mind, we have the new M2 MacBook Pro and we also have that brand new design MacBook Air with the M2 chipset. The next Mac to be upgraded with an M2 chipset is the Mac Mini and the iMac before any devices that will get an M2 Pro or the M2 Max. This means that the M2 Pro and the M2 Max will be coming out after all these products getting an M2 chipset. So it's expected that some of these remainder devices to get that M2 chipset will be getting them this fall. This would mean when we'd be getting the M2 Pro and the M2 Max chipsets in the MacBook Pros, it's most likely it will be at the earliest spring 2023 or even at WWDC next summer. However, there is the possibility of seeing the M2 Pro inside the likes say the second generation iMac 24 inch model and also possibly the brand new design Mac mini so there is still a very slim possibility that the release of these new MacBooks could come this fall of 2022 but to be honest it is more likely to be spring or summer 2023. So then guys, just recently, this channel just got over 400,000 subscribers and I did a giveaway for a MacBook Air M1. And if you want to see who the winner was for that MacBook Air one, check out my other video on my channel where I announced who the winner is. But the great thing is guys, I am doing another giveaway on this channel and it is for this. This is for a 14 inch MacBook Pro and this is with an M1 Pro chipset inside it, the eight core one with a 14 core GPU and a 500 112 gigabyte hard drive inside and I'm going to be giving this away now to one lucky subscriber when we get over 450,000 subscribers and to enter into this international giveaway all I need you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy or other technology gear in 2022 put it down in the comments below. And also guys, if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we get over 450,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that video. Now, something else just want to quickly say, sadly still on YouTube, there are lots of scammers and spammers out there, some of them even impersonating myself, telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram you or other means as well. Ignore them or please do report them. It would really, really help because we don't want scammers and spammers getting their way here on YouTube. Well, guys, with that out of the way, let's return back to the video. With the latest leaks and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted the picture of what details the new MacBook Pros will give us with their baseline price as well. So starting out with the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M2 Pro and M2 Max chipset inside it. It will be very similar as I've already said in other parts of this video. So we'll be getting a 14 inch XDR retina display with a mini LED display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 and this is a pro motion adaptive refresh rate display with 120 hertz or up to 120 hertz like what we have right now with the m1 pro and m1 max 14 inch macbook pros storage will be very similar again we'll have 512 gigabytes all the way up to 8 terabytes inside it for chipset we'll get that m2 pro and m2 max chipset and this will be an option of an 8 or 10 core option so if you go with the lowest spec m2 Pro, you'll get eight cores but if you go for the standard m2 pro and also if you get the m2 max you'll get a 10 core cpu and the same again 
for the GPU, it depends. So if you go for that lower spec M2 Pro, the first sort of baseline model, you'll get a 14 core GPU, but it goes up to 16 core and then up to 24 cores and 32 core GPU. And this depends on what you pick with either an M2 Pro or you get yourself the M2 Max. Very similar to what we have right now with the M1 Max and the M1 Pro. For RAM, there isn't going to be much differences in the next generation of this MacBook Pro. You'll get the option of either 16, 32 or 64 gigabytes of RAM. And a lot of you out there will know if you've got the M1 Pro or the M1 Max that 16 gigabytes of RAM inside this machine compared to say 16 gigabytes of RAM in an Intel MacBook Pro, you will know this is very different indeed in how this is handled. So 16 gigabytes is really quite enough for quite a lot of people out there the body again will be an aluminium body and then for ports wise we will get the magsafe we'll get the three usb-c thunderbolt 4 ports hdmi 2.1 and then also an sd card slot as well then for the webcam in that notch in the middle it's likely it's going to be upgraded to a center stage webcam at last and that will also be a 1080p camera for battery life because of efficiencies in that m2 pro and m2 max chipset we will probably get a slightly larger battery life we will actually now get 18 hours instead of the 17 hours but for price wise the baseline MacBook Pro, we will probably get an M2 Pro. This is one with the 8 core CPU and 14 core GPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. We'll start at probably around the same price that we have right now, what is 1,999 US dollars. So that is a summary of the new MacBook Pros. However, for my thoughts and wishes, well, my thoughts and wishes are to do with actually the current M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBook Pros. I am hoping that when the new M2 Pro and Max comes out, that Apple still sells the M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks but at a lower price. I am thinking something along the lines of what Apple do right now with iPhones. So each year when the new iPhone comes out, we still sell or Apple still sell a variant of the last generation or two of those models of the last generations for a bit less than what they were a year ago. I would love to see this happen to the M1 Pro and the M1 Max MacBook Pros as they are such amazing devices and will be for many, many years to come. I would hope that the 14 inch base model for example would be reduced to say 1799 US dollars compared to the M2 Pro base model that will be probably about the same at 1999 US dollars that we pay right now for the current model. Do you think this would be a good idea? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below whether you agree with this or not and also let me know what your wishes would be for the new MacBook Pros. Well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video and also at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.